Hello everyone. It is a rainy afternoon and time for a quick game of chess. I already played a few games today and didn't go so well. But hey. Um, yeah, that's it. But hey. Wait, what? No, new game. Play. Okay. Wish me luck. I just made a nice decaf coffee with cream. I've got a nice glass of water. I went on a nice long walk this morning, about five and a half miles, and I knew it was going to be a rainy afternoon, but that means I can't finish up my steps until this evening. So hopefully that will work out for me. If it gets too late, then I guess I just won't finish my steps today. I've got 11,000 right now, so about half done. I like to get minimum 21,000, but usually I get around 25,000. I feel like that's a pretty good amount. Oh boy. So I'm hoping to do a quick game, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm kind of busy today. So unless it's a super short game, I'm just going to do one game. Now, this is apparently called the King's Pawn Opening King's Knight Variation. Not the catchiest title, is it? Oh, disconnected. Oh, I don't want to wait two minutes. Uh, I, I don't want to wait two minutes. I'm just going to stop. I don't care. Let's go. I want to start a new game. Okay, like that. We're gonna do our London system opening, guys. There it is, that's the London system, as far as I know. <laughs> hmm, I just noticed chess.com calls it the Indian game. I've never heard of, I've never noticed that. I thought it was called Accelerated London or something. Oh, well, they have all kinds of weird names. Um, okay, this is a little tricky. I feel like since he did this, he might go here. And that means, let's see, should I get my knight out so that if he goes here, I take... Well, I don't need it. It's already guarded by this. Hmm, that's that's interesting. What do I do, guys? If I take, he takes, then I trade queens, and then I take the pawn. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to develop like normal. Sorry, I don't know why I had to think about that. I've... Whoa. Well, well. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Um. Okay. I don't know. But I do remember the rule. If they push this pawn, then I just go one. That's what I've... That's what I've learned, even though I don't understand why. Now, I kind of forget. If he takes this pawn, do I take with this pawn? Or I think I take with... Oh, no. See, now I don't remember. Do I take with this pawn or this pawn? I think... I think I take with this, sorry, with this pawn. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> 
a lot of pawn moves so far. Kind of unusual, but I'm just reacting to what my opponent plays. So what's he going to do now? Okay. Then I'm going to go... Let's get our bishop out. And let's get our knight out. I can give him a check. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, now I can hit the weak pawn. Okay, let me think. If I go here, he's going to just push it forward, right? So what's the point? Yeah, I'm just going to develop like normal, and I think I'm going to go ahead and castle. This doesn't seem like a great move. Blocking in his queen. Oh, he's he's coming for the attack. Oh. So I'm kind of thinking about ignoring it. What if I go here with my knight, and then he attacks my bishop, I take... Um, or I can just open up a retreat square right now. Let's do that. I'm going to retreat to there with the bishop if he attacks me. Oh boy, this is this is actually kind of annoying. Let's see, should I go after his bishop first? Like, what if I jump my knight here? And he takes my pawn, I take his bishop. Then... Then what? Um, I can guard with my rook. That's an idea. I can push the pawn. Let's push the pawn. That also blocks in his bishop a lot. I don't know. Just trying things out, guys. Alright, we're going to jump in there. Now I'm hitting that. Well, not really, because this is unguarded, isn't it? Oh boy. Hmm. What do I need to do here? I don't I don't think I'm playing perfectly. I don't have any illusions about that. But eh, I don't know. It doesn't seem that bad yet. I, again, I want to play a quick game and move on to some other stuff. So what can I do here? If I, if I take and then I'm hitting his queen, so he has to retake before taking my bishop and then I could take his bishop and then he'll end up with his queen right there, which is 
kind of a nice square for the queen, so that does not really help me, does it? Now, that was a mistake, because now I'm going to win his bishop. Hit the queen. He has to recapture. Either with his king or the knight. Yeah, that was a big blunder. I'm going to win this bishop because he blocked his queen from guarding the bishop. Now, if he move, if he captures with his king, then okay, sure. Yeah, that was bad. That was. That was a sad mistake. I mean, just one bad move, disconnect the queen and the bishop, and then suddenly you lose a piece, you know? Uh, that, I know how that feels. And now he can't castle on either side. Wait, no, he could castle this way. What? Why? Oh my gosh. Okay, that was just a collapse. That was just a collapse. That was a really fast game. That was less than 10 minutes. Um, let's see if I blundered. I don't think I did. I did. Oh my gosh, look. Right there, I, I either blundered or I missed something. So let's see which one it is. Go quickly through here. This is all decent enough, doesn't really matter. And then, there I missed something. Okay, so I missed something here, which is weird. Because I, I feel like I captured a bishop. I, I thought that when he moved his knight here, it was basically forced. Oh, no, because he could have taken with his king. He could have taken with his king, and that would have guarded the bishop, right? So maybe that's why I shouldn't have taken with the knight. Well, then what did I miss? Let me see here. Okay. Do you see it? I don't see it yet. I've, I'm looking at it, and I don't see what I miss. What could I have done? Hmm. Let's see, what else? The idea here is to... Um... Hold on, I think my phone is making noise. Let me mute that. Probably the microphone picked that up. Sorry about that. But um, I th the idea here is that this is unguarded. So how do I capitalize on that? I thought this was good because I jump here. I take a piece and hit the queen, which makes him react. But he could take with the king and then it's guarded. So is there something else I could do? I could jump here and take a pawn and hit the rook and he has to take with his king and then I get in here and take the bishop then I'm up a pawn I could come here with my queen which that would be awful actually because then he can jump and have a revealed attack um oh goodness what did I miss guys do you, leave a comment if you see it Leave a comment saying, I see what you missed, <laughs> and then and then tell me. Well, you don't have to tell me, because we're about to see. I'm about to see what I missed, because we're definitely going to show the line. Um, but yeah, I'm about to give up, so I shouldn't take the bishop. What about if I take the knight? That's not going to be it either, is it? That's, that's terrible. It's not take the bishop. Oh, it's take the pawn. It's like I said, take the pawn. Seriously? And then he takes. And then I take. 
and I'm up a pawn. How is that? How is the? Wait a minute. That's only plus two. So here it said this is a mistake plus three point six. So there's something that I, that the computer also missed. Let's show the line, or actually we can see it right here. So knight takes f7. Bishop takes f4, what? Why would he do that? Yeah, see that's an inaccuracy. Oh man, this website, man. I don't know why it gets into this thing where it starts, it like locks into a move that is not the best and then even when it knows it's not the best it'll keep saying that's the best move if you go back okay so whatever so that would have gotten me up a pawn whereas what I did if I did this and he takes then he guards the bishop I'm, I'm gonna take the bishop though and he's gonna come up here and his king is way out in the open I mean that can't be good Right? Surely. Surely that's not good. But look, it's only plus 0.99. That basically means he's the equivalent of being down a pawn. I don't understand. Do we dare do one? Oh, you know what? I want to try something. Instead of a 30 minute game, guys, we're going to do a new game. Uh, how do I do that? Play new game. We're going to do a... Uh, actually, no. Like I said, I wanted to do just one game. And let's do a couple puzzles. And then we are done for today. Ooh, pawn puzzle. Ooh, boy. Okay, so my instinct is king to here. But the other alternative is pawn to here. Mm, boy, that that is, this is a very difficult puzzle for me because you have to see who's going to get a queen first. Can the king block stuff? It, it's a little too hard for me. So the, my choices are either king to here, king to here, or pawn to here. Those are the only things that kind of make sense. So if I go king to here, he goes here. No, then I just take. Ugh. If I go here and he pushes, then I push, then he goes here. I go... Oh gosh, guys, I don't know. This is too hard for me. Let's just do this. Nope, that's not it. So it's got to be this. And then what? This? Nope. <laughs> this? Well, I'm going to, okay. Yeah, I don't know. See, that that's too hard for me. Um, okay, there's a check. That's usually good. There's also this rook. I can do something tricky. That doesn't look tricky enough, though. Wait, is that mate? The king cannot escape to this file. And this pawn is pinned. That's mate. <laughs> okay, that's an easy one. See, that's my kind of puzzle. That's my kind of puzzle. There's no way that, oh, it's re it's pending. Okay, so that means they don't know if this is complicated or not. That's not that complicated. Okay. Now, I can either take the pawn and give check or I can go to here and give mate. That's another easy one. That's 1500? Really? Now, hmm. This, this is a little tricky. So this is guarded by my rook. The king can't escape. So it's a matter of how do I give the right set of checks? And the things that I see are bishop to here 
and then he's obviously going to take, and then I take with my queen, and then how does he defend that? He's going to block with his rook, I take with my knight, and then he takes with his queen. Not, that can't be right. But, is there any way that at the end I can get my rook here and take his other rook? Because then, then that would be winning. I would have, I would just have a rook and he would have nothing left. Well, he would have his bishop. Hmm. Huh. I'm not seeing anything else though. I mean, if I if I give him a check with my rook, he's just gonna take it. That doesn't do anything. So it's got to be this, but I don't see the whole plan yet. And now it has to be this. And now it's tricky. I could take the rook. I don't think that's good. Or I could give this check, which forces the king away from defense here. Then I can take the rook with check. But so what? Oh, I can also pick up this piece, right? at the end. So hold on. If I take... No. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't look good for me. I, I don't get it. Uh, I'm, I'm not seeing the plan yet, guys. I could attack... Oh! Ro knight to here, forking the bishop and the queen? That, I don't know, I don't think so. Let's see, if I take the bishop right now. No, oh, I, I don't see it guys, I'm sorry. Um, leave a comment if you see it. To me, this is a really hard one. I'm just gonna take the rook. Oh, it's right. And then take the bishop. Oh, now I do it. Okay. So now we remove the defender of the queen. And we pick up the queen. Okay. Ooh, wow. I got it. I don't think I deserve to get it because I just guessed with the knight move. I didn't see why. But that's a hard one. 1900. That was legit hard. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, taking the queen and then he has to take here and then we'll have a reveal check, right? So that seems pretty good. Is there anything better though? Let's see, I can take the free pawn and then he takes my queen. So there is a free pawn here. This square is guarded, unfortunately, by the knight. Oh, but it's also, oh, it's guarded by, oh, that's gotta be it. I wonder if it has nothing to do with this guy, with the queens. No, it must, because otherwise he'll just take my queen. Check this out, there's a fork potential here. See those rooks? I can fork them with this pawn at the end of this. So if I jump here, forking the king and queen, he has to take, then I take here, and then he takes my queen. No, so I think I, think I do have to start with this, right?
Then we have that. Oh, so he didn't take that because he doesn't want the fork. Now I take this and, oh, that's mate. Oh yeah, I don't deserve to win that, guys. I did not see that that was mate. What I was thinking was that I jump here, he's in check again, so he moves and then I take the rook. So I end up, I end up, I don't know. I don't know if that's even up, but it's something. But that is mate because that's guarded by the bishop and that's guarded by the pawn. Okay, one more and then we're done for today. Okay, bishop check. That's the first thing I see, of course. Huh. Oh, no, I see it. Queen and, and uh, sorry, king and queen on the same diagonal. And there's this bishop here. So check this out. If I remove the bishop, take the bishop, then he's either going to take with his queen or with the rook. And then I get my bishop here guarded by this rook, and it's either a skewer or a check. So that's got to be it. We're going to take that, go here, and bang goes the queen, and then block with the knight. Oh, that was super easy. That was not 2049. But, you know, it is just luck. If you see that they're on the same diagonal, then you're like, oh, 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 it's something with that. But if you don't see it, then you might be looking over here like I was, like, well, I could give a check. <laughs> These puzzles usually start with giving a check. Oh, I said one more, didn't I? I said one more. Oh, and this is a tough one, though. Should I just stop? <laughs> Should I just stop? It's almost mate. Like, he's going to go here with his queen. I have... That's mate. Wait, no, I can go here. And then he goes... I don't know, somewhere, but that's very close to mate. So I know I need to give a check. I can take that with the rook. So first check is knight to here, because this pawn is pinned. But he'll just take the knight. The next check I see is king or rook to here, guarded by my knight. So he has to go back there. And then, then what do I do? If he were back there, what would I do next? Hmm, another possibility is that this might not be a checkmate. If he takes here and I go here, what can he do with his queen? He could take my bishop with the knight, that's a check, and then I take. And then what? Can he do anything? Uh, I, th I think it's this. Let's try it. Yep. And now... Now what? I'm not seeing anything right now. I mean, I could go here take the pawn with a check and then he either runs back to here or takes my rook. If he takes my rook, then I bring my queen to here. Oh, and that would be mate. If he takes the rook, it's mate because, well, is it? I think it might be take the pawn. Yeah. 
now queen to here check it's got to be that queen to here check oh the puzzle just stops Why does it just stop? Is it because the mate is so obvious and I'm just, oh, okay, so he only has two moves. He can go here and that's mate, or sorry, he's got three moves. Here, 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 and here. He's got four moves, I take it all back. <laughs> so let's look at those four moves. If he goes here, then queen to here is mate. If he goes here, queen to here is mate, guarded by my knight, right? So those two are out. Let's say he goes here. Now I go queen to here, and he's forced back to here, and then queen to, so the king is back on that square, and then queen to here is mate. And finally, if he goes here, it's gonna be the same thing, I think. Wait, is it? If he goes here, then I go queen to, oh, see, that's the trickiest. If he goes here, what do I do? If I go to here, he's going to escape. He's going to run here. Yeah, I don't know how I would stop that. I That's tricky. I can't visualize it. Uh, let's look at the analysis board. So, yep, yep, yep. And then let's, so let's play this out. If he goes here, it's made in one, boom. If he goes here, it's made in one. Yeah, we are correct. If he goes here, then I go here. He's forced back and then this is made in one. So I was right. And now finally, if he goes here, what do I do? See, if I go here, he'll take my knight. Maybe that's okay. Let's let's see, is this the move? And he goes... Huh. Oh, that's guarded by my bishop. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought my knight was unguarded. I did not see that. So, okay, that's mate. That's mate also. So it's all mate in one. All right. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.